So, so let's do it differently. We can use another way to do it. So we have, I have some materials for you to use. So these are called base and blocks. And I'm going to introduce you how to use base and blocks to solve subtraction problems. So these are called flats. And these are bras. Um, yes. <clears throat> and we also have one uh, cubes. So uh, black, rods, and, and cubes. cubes. Good job. So let me introduce you these cubes. Um, we're also going to use. Um, Place value mat. These are hundreds, tens, and ones. So now we have uh, these cubes, mm -hmm. and we call them, or we represent ones. Wow. So uh, one cube is one. So we have, let's count it like this. So one, two, three, so we count these ones like this. So cubes represent ones. And now we have rows. Rows represent tens. Why do you think rows represent tens? Mm, I don't know. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, you see here, it seems like this one rod is made of cubes, right? Mm -hmm. Let's count how many cubes he has. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Good job. So we use ten cubes to represent one rod. One ten. Okay, now we also have these flats. One flat represents one hundred. Why do you think it represents one hundred? Well, it looks a lot like a ten. Yes, it made of these tens. Let's see how many tens it has. Ten, ten twenty, thirty, 30 40, forty, fifty, sixty. 50. 60 70, 80, 90, 100. 100. Good job. So one flat represents 100. And 100 has 10 tens. Right? 